Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. I am back with another full face of trying new makeup. Okay, I took a little break from this series, but I came back last week and so many of you said you still wanted to see these videos. So I am super stoked to share this one in particular because I have so much new goodness to share with you. I can't wait. So obviously I'm gonna be doing this look right here. I have the new eyeshadow palette from Sigma Beauty, the Untamed palette. A lot of you have told me you wanted to see a look with that. Uh, I have my first product that I'm trying from Peach and Lily. I have the new Born This Way Matte Foundation from Too Faced. I have a bunch of different complexion products from Patrick Ta, Jouer, also Lawless Beauty. I have some lashes on today. I mean, we have a lot to try out. Uh, a lot of these products I did pick up recently from Sephora. I am going to be doing a separate Sephora haul. I'm not sure what order my videos are going up, so this one might be coming first and then my Sephora haul is coming next. Or if this one goes up second, my Sephora haul has already been posted and I'll link it in the cards and make sure to go check it out, but I'm just not sure what order yet they're going up, but I will have a whole Sephora haul because it's a big one and I'm so excited to share all these products with you but I knew that I absolutely had to get some of them on my face ASAP so that's why I wanted to sit down to do this trying new makeup video so I hope that you're excited for it I hope you have fun seeing me get this look and why don't we go ahead and get started okay let's get started I am going to start off with the eyes I outlined what I wanted to do on this eye because I really wasn't quite sure but I am using the new Sigma Untamed palette uh, I featured this actually in a will I buy it and I did a little bit of a haul in last week's will I buy it and I showed that I did receive this one from Sigma and so many of you said that you wanted to see looks with it and I said okay let's do it so that is what I wanted to start off with first but before that I'm going to prime my eyelids with these new releases from Colourpop it's the creme shadows I have the shade Bronco and I think that this actually makes a really nice eyeshadow base which I don't often use a separate eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer a lot of times I do my face first and I just use concealer and that works well for me but since I am doing my eyes first today and that I just got these I thought I could try well I could use it not try it out because I've been using it actually quite a bit I'm going to use my Sigma E62 for this and you really just need a small amount and I'm just going to run this over my entire eyelid but yeah I've been using these several times now and I really like them. I was impressed with it. Again, it's something to me that I feel like I would gravitate towards these a little bit more than like maybe like the MAC paint pots, I think is what they're called. I don't have any of those, but uh, cause those are a little bit more expensive. And since I don't go for these, like I don't go for this every single time cause I use my concealer so much, but this is a nice affordable option. So I've been pretty happy with that for ColourPop. And then coming into the Untamed palette, this is gorgeous. The packaging on this one, it has like the felt. It's just, it's, it's so beautiful. So just like the Cor de Rosa and the Enchanted, you have 14 shades. It retails for $49. It does also come with this double-ended brush, which I do use, which has the E38 and the E54, which I love both of those. And, you know, like I said in my Will I Buy It, this definitely is more fall to me, and I went more fall with my eye look, but that's okay because this green spoke to me the most and I knew that I wanted to do something with that color. So first up, I'm gonna take just a really small pencil brush and this is from Wayne Goss, it's the 05. And just dipping a little bit into that and I'm gonna start to make kind of like a not very cute looking line on my crease all the way down. And I'm gonna do some work with blending so nobody cry yet because I was kind of like, you know. Argh. So that's kind of where I'm focusing the shade, but then I'm also going to run it along my lash line and start to like flick it out and connect it here, almost like, like I'm doing winged liner. And I'm also gonna use this shade to shade in the outer part of my eye. It is so weird to me how badly I wanted to use this shade and how I just want it like a little bit of everywhere. But you can see, like, this is not looking stunning right now. Honestly, the other side isn't yet perfect either, but I just wanted to get an idea of what I was doing before I sat down to film. Because sometimes I get a little bit overwhelmed when I'm doing makeup looks and I'm not exactly sure what it is that I'm doing. And then if I'm doing it on camera, I'll get even more overwhelmed. So that's why I started with the other eye. I had a pretty good idea that I was going to enjoy this formula because I just, I really enjoy the Sigma palettes. And so far, so good with this one. But this is kind of like the basic 
like shape and outline that I'm going for. All right, then I'm gonna pick up the shade next to it, which is Boho. And I wanted to use a really small brush. This is from Sephora Collection. It's the 24 Blending Brush. Uh, I reviewed this in a Sephora haul follow-up video recently, and I said that I really like this one for like these more precise moments that I'm looking for versus like the Sigma E40, which is a little bit bigger. So I really like this small one. So I'm gonna pick up this color. It's also very, very fall. Kind of this mustardy color. And I wanna blend that on top of the green and kind of use that to blend out the green but also just to be a higher crease color transition color you know fall color <laughs> and I'm gonna take this color too and kind of blend it down like this onto the lid just to blend that green shadow a little bit too I mean I know that it's still looking a little suspicious I get it but that's okay we're gonna keep going <laughs> So next I'm gonna grab the shade Envy and I'm gonna use one of the, um, or I'm gonna use the double-sided brush that comes with it with the E54. And with this one, I just used a dry brush. I didn't feel like I needed to use it uh, damp. And then I'm gonna start to run this on my eyelid. It's a really foiled shade and I felt like it popped enough on its own. And I'm gonna come back and add in like the green and the blending color but kind of my thought process was like almost kind of sandwiching this color in between the green that we have. I don't have a ton of lid space. Like I have a decent amount, I guess I would say. I don't have a ton though, but that's kind of my idea. If I can like squish it in there, that's kind of what I'm going for. And then this is just gonna be where I'm gonna play around to get it to how I want it. So I'm gonna come back with a little bit more green to emphasize in the crease and then the outer part of my eye and then I'll add in some more of the gold and just kind of keep doing that until I like it uh, I'm also going to add in just a little bit of the black which is in wicked and this is a really small brush it's a lip liner brush from elf but I want to do just like the smallest amount I don't work with black very often so sometimes it scares me but I'm just gonna take that and run it really close to my uh, upper lashes and then also just like r like lightly flick it out here too that's the only spot that I'm going to take the black and then I'll go over it with the green. Honestly, I don't even really know if I'm like doing anything when I do that because then I'm coming back with the green, but it makes me feel like, oh, hey girl, you used a black in a palette. I get a sticker today. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna leave my eyes there for the moment. We'll do some cleaning up as I do my face makeup, but switching over to my face, I'm first gonna use this primer from Peach and Lily. This is their Skin Shield Blurring Primer. Peach and Lily sent this over, and I'm excited to use it because I've never tried the brand before, but I've been hearing a lot of people talk about them. And um, even this morning, as I'm filming, in my private Facebook group that I have, um, someone had placed an Ulta order, I believe it was Ulta, and had purchased some from the brand, so I thought, okay, let's give it a shot. So, it says, meet your skin's new bodyguard, fend off damaging daily stressors, pollution, blue light, toxins, makeup with this revolutionary primer. Powerfully protect while refining and blurring skin without a drop of silicone. Okay, it's supposed to create smoother looking skin with a cushiony, bouncy radiance and instantly minimizes the appearance of pores. Okay, cute packaging. It's got the pump, so let's just see what we got here. I got like a little bit, but now I can't. Good. More. Okay, there we go. Okay, just needed like half a pump more. So I'm just gonna use my fingers to smooth this over my skin. All right, so I got the primer on. So it feels a little bit more, I would say, of like a moisturizer type of texture, but a little bit thicker. And it truly, I think it did a good job blurring. I'll try to get nice and close here. Uh, so, so far. So far, so good. I am trying a new primer and a foundation. A lot of times I don't do that because if something doesn't work, it's hard to pinpoint like what exactly didn't work, but we just have a whole a whole full face today, okay? Like we're really going all the way in. And for my foundation, I'm going to use this new Too Faced Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Undetectable Super Long Wear Foundation. Okay then, I got the shade Natural Beige. Hopefully it'll work out for me. 
I think that'll be okay. All right, so let's see. It's oil-free 24, 24 hour matte foundation masterfully diffuses the line between makeup and skin. Our matte formula stays completely color true while covering imperfections to reveal the all day shine free look of naturally flawless skin. It's supposed to be light wear and coverage so undetectable you think you were born this way. So I really like this concealer a lot. And to me, like this looks like the concealer because the concealer is large, right? Like, so I, this is like kind of interesting. I'm like, did I just buy another concealer? Cause I have two shades of that concealer cause I really like it, but you know, we'll test it out. I have a sponge here from BK Beauty. So I'm just gonna do a couple pumps to start with. And we will see, I, I am hearing good reviews about this. Ooh, that might be too warm for me hmm okay we'll try it we'll try it we'll try it we'll try it i thought this said this was more neutral undertones but that looks a little warmer than i usually am with my foundations i'm afraid it's gonna be a little bit too yellow on me hmm interesting all right so it's pretty easy to blend in the color match is not i'm not loving it off the bat um i'm gonna make sure to bring it down onto my neck it's just a little warm, a little yellow for me, um, but it blended out quickly. I'm gonna get close again so you can see what the coverage is looking like. I think it has a nice finish and you know, it could be the primer that I used underneath too, but I feel like it's not overly matte, which I prefer natural, or if I would have to lean either way, I would prefer to lean dewy. Yeah, I would say like this is almost a little bit, but not too much though. It's not like super glowy. It's not super dewy or anything. It just doesn't look really matte on me, which I personally like. I would say it's a good medium coverage because I do have some breakouts here that aren't fully covered, but I think it did a good job like evening out my skin tone. I'll definitely be curious how it wears. I will come back to follow up everything that I am reviewing because some of these are first impressions. So really want to make sure I get my neck to match because since I'm not, um, I don't think the color match was the best for me, but all right. So I think so far so good. It does feel lightweight. Like it doesn't feel really heavy on my skin right now either. So I do like that. Yeah. I'll test it out some more, see what I think. So I don't have a new concealer or powder, so I'm going to do that off camera and my brows and then we will keep going. All right. Brows are done. Concealer, powder, Let's move on. This is where things are gonna get a little crazy because I purchased a lot of complexion products. So we're gonna find a way to make 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 this work. So I got this Patrick Ta blush duo in She's So LA. I'm very excited about this. I have wanted to try these for a while and then I kind of talked myself out of them and then I got talked back into it. My friend Karen Harris said she thought that I would like She's So LA. So looks like so, really beautiful. I also got a blush from Lawless. I've been really wanting to try um, the Lawless blushes and I got the shade in Vintage Love. Just like this cute little blush here, but this blush, I want that on my face. So um really want to use that one too. And then, and then I bought a face palette. <laughs> I just put out the video <laughs> about beauty products that I don't buy anymore and I was like really trying not to buy face palettes and then I bought one. This is from Jouer and this is the Be A Legend Champagne and Macarons Sweet Cheeks palette. Okay, when I mentioned this in the Will I Buy It, I said that it was so beautiful and it just really is. So you have a plastic thingy, um, you have a highlight, two blushes, and then a bronzer. I'm gonna use this for contour today though, cause it looks, I'm just gonna try to figure out how to like use a little bit of all of these products. All right, let's just not do a lot of judgments right now. I just thought this was so cute. So I'm gonna take this one, which is in suntan. I think that might be a shade in the Jouer bronzer duo that I have. It sounds familiar. Um, I'm just gonna use a Moda Brushes contour brush and I'm going to do a little contour with this one. But I, you know, I really like my Jouer bronzer duo and blush duos. And then when I saw this collection come out, I was like, oh, that's pretty. Oh, actually I wanted to use the cream side of that Patrick Ta blush, but that's okay. Hopefully we can make it work. This is why I don't use cream products a lot because then I do things like this, but just, just a little contour to the cheeks here. All right, next I'm gonna go into the Patrick Ta. Okay, why can I not figure out how to open these? Okay, 
got it going into the Patrick Ta so this has like a little protective covering over it so I'm actually gonna use I'm just curious to try it out and I'm gonna use a milk brush this came in a set that they did with Sephora it's technically a foundation brush but I think it'll work well for a cream product and a bunch of my brushes are dirty <laughs> once again so I'm just gonna pick up a little here kind of nervous just gonna pick up a little bit on my brush and I like that it has a mirror because that's very handy for me and I'm going to start to use it I want I'm thinking of using this more as like bronze toned blush kind of like Natasha Denona esque if you will but a lot of times I've I like the shades more than I thought I was going to when I first got Natasha's because it kind of can act as like a two for one if on days like kind of in a hurry which I did appreciate but I'm definitely like focusing this a little bit higher too okay that's going very smoothly I wanted to start small and work my way up since I haven't tried these before and I'm not always the best with the cream products but that looks pretty okay okay mm-hmm so this one says, day or night, this dual formula compact allows you to create looks for both and everything in between a luminous sheer cream on one side and a buttery soft powder on the other. You can wear them alone or layer them for maximum impact. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I don't mind that at all. It didn't seem to disturb my foundation. So, so far, so good. I'm just gonna keep it here. Um, I'm not gonna put it anywhere else because technically it is a blush. It just leans, you know, a little bit more brown but I don't think I want to like put it on my forehead or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it there. I just really wanted to try at least one little part of this because I do also want to try this Lawless Beauty blush because the shade I just thought was so cute. Like I opened it and was like, yeah. And for the blush, I'm also going to be using the new brush from Persona Cosmetics. So you have a blush brush on one side and a highlight brush on the other. And this brush is available now. There's a little mirror in this compact. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit and start to tap this one on. So this one says it's a talc-free velvet blush in a silky soft press powder formula that seamlessly blends into the skin, imparting a healthy natural flush. Okay, I think I went a little heavy on this side, but that's okay. Sometimes I just, I really don't mind going heavy with a blush, especially as I'm like still in the process of getting ready because a lot of times it'll start to fade. I'm just kind of like lightly running over the bridge of my nose. Nothing too crazy, but you know, it can start to fade a little bit and so it's okay. Yeah, so I feel like that was really easy to apply. It was, it was really pigmented without being like too, too much, but I definitely didn't have to work for it. I just do that thing where I don't need to actually be doing anything, but I feel like I'm supposed to because I'm still talking. I like the brush too. It's very soft. So that's nice. But I, yeah, this color I think is beautiful so far. I mean, again, first impression, but I, I like it so far. That was a good one. Okay. And then I'm going to come back into the Jouer palette and I'm going to use the highlight in here. And this is in Citrine. And I'm just going to use the other side of this brush. So it's like, I might've gone a little bit ham on the face products today, but it's, when you get all this good stuff in, I mean, it's really hard to be like, I'll just use one thing. It's like, no, you wanna use as much as you can. So um, I really like this Persona brush. This is a, I really like this one for highlighting. I wasn't sure about this because it seemed a little bit small for how I usually prefer my blush brushes, but I feel like it did the job well in that highlight. Mm, that is looking pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose also. All right, before I go back to the eyes, since I have my face on, I am going to spray my face and I'm gonna be using the new setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless, this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It says, party all night, stay all day. Okay, Charlotte. You know, sometimes she is the last one to leave when it comes to girls' nights. We're like, Charlotte, time to go, girlfriend. Sometimes she just wants to stick around. This one says, primes and sets for up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. Let's give it a shot. I just got the mini. I love minis. Wanted to go for that. But let's see the spray on it first. Ooh, okay. Ooh. A little bit aggressive, a little bit aggressive there. So I'm gonna hold it kind of far from my face and spray it, cause that was like, you know? Okay, my first thought is that it does have a, 
have some scent to it. Like it almost reminds me of a perfume, but I don't know which one. It's not like overly, overly powerful, but I can definitely smell something. And it almost feels a little bit sticky, which I'm not sure I totally love. Like when I sprayed it the first time, I got some on my arm here and it just feels like, it feels almost a little bit stickier for me. And that's not always my personal favorite, but um, we'll see. I mean, I think that my makeup still looks nice. Like I didn't get like the droplets on my face like you can sometimes with some setting sprays. Everything's still looking good there. We'll see how it, you know, lasts and hold up, holds up and all. But yeah, right off the bat, I'm not like, ooh, that might have just became my new favorite. I'm kind of like, huh, don't know yet. Mm. All right, to, to finish off the eyes, coming back into the Untamed palette, uh, I did use some black liner on my waterline, and then I did also tight line. But I am first going to pick up some camouflage, of course just on a pencil brush again and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line and then I'm going to mix in boho I'm basically just going to be doing what I did on my lid I'm just going to use the same brush I'm going to bring boho a little underneath that and blend it out and I'm also going to grab just a little bit of wicked the black I'm going to focus that more towards the outer part just really smoking out that lash line and then a little bit more of camouflage and I'm gonna connect those out here too, so it just kind of forms one like, if you will. All right, and then I am gonna add some lashes to the look as I've already done over here. I mentioned that I was interested in these House of Lashes and Patrick Ta lash collaboration. I grabbed a couple different styles. Why, I don't know, one would have been fine, but I thought that I would try the pair in I Mean first. I felt like those looked very me. So uh, I am gonna do this off camera. I still need to trim this lash and then get it on, and sometimes that can take a little bit. And because I haven't worn lashes in a while, sometimes when it comes to that, I'm not always the most clean when it comes to putting lashes on. But this is the style I Mean. I just thought they were really pretty and with a, a look that's, you know, a little bit more sultry uh then i thought it would be great to add lashes but also i forgot to do just a little bit of my inner corner highlight which i'm using the shade hustle to do that and i'm just using a different pencil brush obviously and then i'm just gonna do a little bit on the inner corner this is a little bit more of like almost kind of like a coppery gold but just a little just a little something something and then i'm gonna go add those lashes all right, it actually wasn't too difficult to get this lash on, so that was great, but eyes are done. I'm really liking the way that they came out. I'm gonna finish off with my lips. I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta lip liner. This one is in She's So Proud, and then this was a little bonus offer. It's from Ilia Beauty. It's their Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. I actually had a few people recommend that I grab this, so when I saw it as the bonus offer, I was like, perfect, I will get that. So I'm first gonna do my lip liner. Okay, and then for the lip oil, it says the shade is in Only You. So we have a little mini here. I actually just tried one of the new ColourPop Luxe lip oils and I really liked it. So I'm kind of curious which one I'm going to like more. So we just have the little applicator here and let's try it out. All right, this is a little bit more pink than I would have chosen for the look, but you know, like we're giving it a shot. Um, I still think it's pretty though. I still think it can definitely work. I would say off the bat, I feel like the ColourPop is a little bit thicker, which I actually liked about the ColourPop. It felt more like a luxurious lip oil, if you will, where this one just feels a little bit more sheer, but it does have a lot of color. I also kind of thought maybe it would be a little bit more sheared out color-wise, but I can definitely see the pink on my lips. So yeah, excited to give this a few tries. And after that, this is my final look for today's trying new makeup video. Definitely gonna let me know what you think in the comments, but I really like how this came out. All right, so again, this is the final look and I did just wanna run through the products that I tried. So starting off with that ColourPop eye base, I've been filming for so long, it feels like I filmed that segment yesterday, but I really do like those ones from ColourPop. Again, I've been testing those out for a while and I'm actually a fan of them. I wasn't sure if I would be, but I would definitely keep using it. The Untamed Eyeshadow Palette, I'm really loving. I'm feeling on this look. Again, I would definitely recommend the Sigma Eyeshadow Palettes. They have quite a few out. If there's a certain color scheme that calls more to you, I really would recommend it. I do have my affiliate code with them, which is Samantha, um, but I'm such a fan and I can't wait to do more looks with that palette. 
it because I'm digging this one right here. Uh, the primer from Peach and Lily I thought was pretty good. I mean, it's a primer. It's my first time. I, I don't know. We'll have to see. The Too Faced Foundation. Again, I'm a little bit surprised that the shade match wasn't better for me. So that is a little bit of a bummer. And I feel like it's as I've been sitting here and doing my makeup for a while, not that it's gotten heavier on my skin, but it's when I was doing my lashes and I had, you know, my mirror like right up here, it just looks a little bit heavier on my face than I typically prefer. Like I really do like something so natural. So I might have to use less foundation next time. You know, it could be that, that thing too. Like maybe I just got to use a little bit less product and maybe it won't look so heavy, but you know, I'm definitely curious to see how it wears throughout the day. I try to always leave a pinned comment in these trying new makeup videos to let you know what I thought as I wear this throughout the day so by the time it goes up I can have a few extra thoughts so make sure to check out that pinned comment uh, and then moving on to the several complexion products I mean the Patrick Ta I felt like it applied really smoothly I'm excited to try both sides of it the lawless blush I thought was really beautiful the persona brush was easy to try out and the Jouer palette I think I'm gonna like it a lot I like that it has the bronzer the blush and the highlight in there you get the two different blushes but I I like that it's not just a blush palette, just a highlight palette, just a contour palette. I have a little bit of everything in there, so I think that I am also going to like that. Um, these lashes, they weren't too bad to apply. The band is really, really thin, but I personally like that. I know I've had some people comment to tell me that you didn't like the bands on these lashes, and I've actually seen a review on the Sephora website that someone did not like the band. I actually like it. You do have to be a little bit more careful with them, but to me, they come across as more natural on my eyes. When I use something that has a really thick band, to me, I just can't make it blend in with my lashes and a lot of times it's heavier if you guys heard me talk about in the products that I'm not buying as much a lot of the reasons I don't go for lashes is because my eyes are so sensitive and if I use really thicker bands it's just too heavy on my eyes it's gonna irritate them so I personally gravitate towards this style of lashes but they're definitely not gonna be for everybody I felt like I had it took me longer to get this side down it, again it could have been I haven't worn lashes in a very long time so sometimes I'm kind of like fumbly and bumbly when I'm trying because this I truly just I could have done it on camera it just popped right on and I was like definitely could have filmed that this side just made me a little bit nervous but I like the style a lot I think that they're really pretty it's like natural but but like but false lashes it's a false lash natural okay like I'm not trying to convince anyone these are my natural lashes but so far I like those too and then I think I just have the Charlotte Tilbury um, setting spray have you guys tried it I don't know my face doesn't feel sticky anymore which is good so maybe it's really gonna hold everything in place but just that initial spray I was like not so sure about it but you know I'll definitely give it a few more tries and see how it keeps my keeps keeps up my makeup and then I think the final product was just that Ilia lip balm and I just kind of gave my thoughts on that I mean so far so good there so I feel like this was a pretty successful trying new makeup I'm really loving the eye look sometimes the foundation with it not being super perfect it kind of throws me off a little bit but I mean the majority of the products I thought worked really well and I really like the way that this is looking like yes I'm only wearing a t-shirt right now it's my full-time dream chaser t-shirt that I already spilled on today so like let's ignore that but I feel like it goes really well with this look too. So I'm kind of feeling it. Other than that though, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, to make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I'd love if you subscribed before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.